Well, it is a much better day out here today. It's Sunday. We've got church out of the way. I shouldn't say it like that. I went to church this morning, got lunch out of the way. There we go. And now we're back out in the garage. I got a quick coat, couple coats of paint on this thing this morning. The other one's over there. And we're gonna start cleaning up the block and get ready for some final assembly. So you're gonna wanna stick around. Okay guys, so before we go any further, this video is sponsored today by St. John Engine Rebuilders. They're located in St. John, New Brunswick. They have a whole array of services and an experience at almost any engine that you could have them look after for you. I got my heads done up there and they turned out magnificent. We're gonna get them installed on the car today, but if you haven't checked them out yet, I'm gonna put their information right here as well as a link in the description box below for St. John Engine Rebuilders in St. John, New Brunswick. Be sure to check them out. So in the last video you saw that I got one head all painted up and cleaned. And like I said earlier this morning before I went to church, I managed to get the other one done. The JB Weld job turned out excellent and I got that trimmed up and, and ready to uh, install on the vehicle. So now what we've got to do is we're going to clean up around where the head gaskets go, get all that old silicone out. We will pull the lifters out here for now. Uh, these are the old lifters and uh, set them aside and then once uh, we get ready to put the heads and push rods and all that stuff back in. We will install the new push rods. So, let's get at her. Okay, so now that we've got everything all cleaned up, we're going to put our head gaskets down and uh, then we're going to put the heads on and put the bolts in and just kind of snug them up and then we'll go over a torque sequence once we get them in there. So we're getting ready to put the ARP fasteners in on the heads. You'll know we got the head here and the one on over there. They're not fastened down, they're just sitting on the dowels. But right now, if you recall when we took this thing apart, we did have one bolt on each head that was longer. And uh, I see that in there. You can see the difference there. So we're gonna get these things installed and then we'll just kind of hand tighten them first. Then we'll go around and torque them all to spec. Okay, so this is where we get out the old torque wrench. And we're gonna do the first go around at 45 to 50. And we're gonna start in the middle and work our way towards the outer edge. So we're gonna start with this bolt here and then this one, then we'll go with this one, this one, this one, that one, and then just keep going back and forth and working our way to the outer edge. So the first round here is going to be 45, so let's get at her. Now we're gonna go over to this side, do the same thing, and then we'll come back around and hit them with 90 foot-pounds. Woo-wee! During the time lapse, when you can't pull down on it this way, it's kind of difficult, especially to do 90 foot-pounds. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the other side of the car and try and twist it that way but I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be going at these bolts a little bit blind as soon as I catch my breath. And yes, that would be quite indicative to the fact that I'm a weakling and out of shape. All right. Let's try this one more time. Oh, look at that. Come up here. Yep. Yep. There we go. Oh, 
Two more. Yep, one more. Oh, I gotta go, Jim. Yep, there we go. Do it yourself, they said. Save some money, they said. All right, so we've got our intake gaskets, cork, and these ones here. We're gonna be putting them on now, but we've gotta get the surfaces clean, make sure that they're free of debris and grease and oil and stuff like that. So we're gonna do that. And then what we'll do is we're gonna run some RTV silicone right along this front rail and this back one. We're gonna set the cork gasket on it, and then we're gonna put another layer of RTV on it one more time just to be double sure, and then we can put our gaskets, our intake gaskets on and start aligning the uh, intake on there, getting some bolts in it. So let's, uh, let's do that to some music. So we are getting ever so close. I struggle with a few of these uh, bolts getting them lined up and such but we've got them all in and uh, pretty well everything's lined up we're just starting now to get things uh, tightened up so in some areas like here and here and down there and down there we're not going to be able to get the socket because there's not enough room so we're going to have to use a wrench and uh, I know in some cases uh, I'm not going to be able to use the box end I'm going to have to use the open end for slow going so I'm not going to bore you with that when we come back, we're gonna put the push rods in and the rocker arm assembly and uh, start getting these valve covers on and we can button this thing up. Might even have it running this video. I might. I might. So as of right now, we've got our intake all buttoned up. I've got the valve train all tidied up on the uh, passenger side. We're gonna get ready to put the push rods in and the rockers, uh, rocker assembly on the driver side. And then we can start putting the valve cover on, carb, thermostat, just start plugging everything in and in, uh, in hopes that we can get this thing running tonight. So let's, uh, let's grab those push rods and uh, rocker assembly and get those on. And all I'm doing is just giving them a little push, make sure that they're hitting the lifter, which they're gonna slide right in anyway. So we're just gonna snug those up, and the same as we took them off, we're gonna snug them up uh, a little bit at a time. Now we're gonna grab our torque wrench and torque those down to 17 foot-pounds of torque. And I'm gonna go actually 20, just because, there. And just like that, the valve train is in. And it even looks like it's point number one. Wow. Something right. Well, Mama has called and said dinner is ready. So we are going to take a break. We're gonna charge up the battery on the camera. We're gonna grab some grub. And we'll come back out here and try and button this thing up. Well, folks, the sun is setting. And we're still out here in the garage and we are very, very close to getting this thing running. Let's go over what we've got left to do. I've got to put the valve covers on. The distributor is in. The carburetor is on. Just got to hook up the fuel and the choke. The alternator and alternator bracket is on. Got to get the throttle hooked up and distributor cap and wires. 
And I think that's it. I've got all the heater hoses plugged back in, all the hose clamps tightened up. Oh, except for this top one here. I should do that now while I'm thinking of it. I'll keep my hand on it. And then we can start pouring the antifreeze back into it, and uh, we're going to start her up. Now, one thing I'm not going to do tonight is I'm not going to put the uh, exhaust manifolds back on. If you guys have been watching the channel or following me on Instagram, you will know that I've got a set of shorty headers to go on this. So I'm not going to bother wasting my time putting all that together and then have to tear it apart again. But then again, how am I going to get it out to the shop to get the welding done? Anyways, that's enough. That's another video. So I think what we're going to do tonight is we're going to get all the odds and ends put together. That way the exhaust is kind of the very last thing that I've got to do. And uh, But we're going to start it tonight. I guarantee you by the end of this video, we're going to make some noise. So let's get this thing buttoned up with the valve covers, the wires, the fuel, the linkage, and the antifreeze. And this clamp. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we've got it all wired up, and I think we've got it so that it will at least turn over and not backfire, because that's what happened the first time I had it 180, 180 degrees off on the distributor, so I just popped it out, spun it around, got done, and uh, so I did crank it over, it did jump, I shut it right off immediately, but uh, she's going to be loud. So if you're wearing headphones, I'm going to tell you right now, turn the volume down. Fair warning. that is loud and we got flames we know it runs that means my job here is done well almost gotta get those manifolds on or the headers uh, get out the shot clean up all these tools get her full of antifreeze and uh, I'm excited well guys I am good and sure my neighbors absolutely hate me now but it was all worth it because now I've got a running car again We've just got to get the exhaust buttoned up and we will be able to drive this thing. And tomorrow they're calling for about six inches of snow. I don't know. It's May or it's April. Uh, snow doesn't last very long. Hopefully it'll be just a one day thing, but nevertheless, hopefully in the next few days or weeks or whatever, we will be able to get this car out for a test drive with the new exhaust or the new, new uh, headers and see what kind of performance she has with these new heads. Guys, thank you for sticking around with this video. I know it's been a long one. I'm going to try and edit it the best I can to shorten it up and get rid of some of the stuff that just might not be so necessary. But I'm glad that you did. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down in the comment section below and tell me, what do you think of the old girl? Loud enough for you? Also, don't forget that this video being sponsored by St. John Engine Rebuilders. Their link is in the description box below. And please go check them out on Facebook and Instagram. They're always posting some really neat stuff. They're there also for all of your engine needs. Guys, four links in the description box below. Each one of them is another way that you can support me on this channel without having to watch my videos. But I hope you do because it really means a lot to me. One of the links in the description box below is to Grant Tommy's page who is Street Six Fan on YouTube. And he is my co-host for the Thursday night live stream. And we have a lot of fun. If you're into cars and you want to talk car talk, that's the place to go and hang out. We alternate every other week on uh, my channel versus his, and we always will post ahead of time. So if you're not subscribed to Grant, please go over and do so now. I'm also looking for license plates still to finish up my wall art project as well as a few pieces of uh, trim uh, for the car that I'm trying to make uh, happen. If I can get all the license plates in place first, We'll do that project and we'll get her up on the wall. 
Guys, I end every video by saying stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll do it again real soon. I know this is hopeless, moving in slow motion, trying to control my thoughts, but I can't stop our body talk. This is a no-go, I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. This is a no-go, I just can't take cold.